Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load unique identifier data from Excel or CSV file to SQL Server table in SSIS package. Uh, first of all, we will be learning how to read the data from Excel file in SSIS package and then we will be using derived column transformation to convert or cast the incoming data to the required data types that we have in destination. So let me show you Excel first of all. So here I have customer ID that's the unique identifier data if you see here and the rest of the column customer name, street, city, state and region those are pretty much string values. Now after analysis, doing some analysis on this data I have created a table. So let me go back to the table and here we have a customer underscore destination and the customer ID is going to be unique identifier and customer name worker 50. Uh, street address worker 100, city worker 50, state chart 2 and region chart 2. So that's uh, the data type I came with. So we are more concerned about the customer ID but here also we will be learning how to convert the data type for incoming columns from Excel to the chart or what chart and all that. Let's uh, go to the, let me cancel this out. So delete this part. Now, if you are using bids, uh, you will be opening the bids. If you are using uh, SSIS 2012 or 14, uh, you will be using uh, uh, SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Once you are in the SSDT or bids, uh, you will be right clicking on the SSIS packages and creating a new SSIS package. You can go ahead and rename this one. And uh, as we are going to read the data from Excel file, we need data flow task. So I'm going to grab data flow task here. Once we have the data flow task, let's open it. Inside the data flow task, we'll have different sources and destinations. So as we are reading the data from Excel, so we'll be using Excel source. So bring the Excel source, double click, open it. Now we will be creating a new Excel connection manager. Browse to the file. Here you will be selecting the version of Excel. I'm using 2007 so that's why I'm selecting Microsoft Excel 2007 and first row has column names that's true in my case if in your case it's not true just uncheck this box and now browse to the path we have customer.xlsx that tells it is 2007 version or higher so hit ok and hit ok select the sheet so I have data on sheet 1 I selected that sheet go to columns and that's it now if you will hover your mouse on these uh, internal and external columns you will see DTWSTR that's N chart 255 so it is reading uh, pretty much all of those uh, see here all of those columns uh, are read uh, as the uh, N chart 255 so that's fine we are going to use the drive column and convert them hit ok now bring uh, the drive column transformation here connect it let's go back here and start converting them so we know that customer id is coming as a string it's coming as a unicode string that means n word char so now we need to convert that one to good or unique identifier so here in the typecast we have those typecast of i don't know you can call them functions yes so you have you can use those to convert those data types and if we see here we have a dt underscore good so this is one we can use here if I will put right next to the column it will convert the data type of the newly column so I'm gonna call this one der so it tells a drive column and say customer ID so we are creating a new column and we are converting the data type of customer ID to the unique identifier so looks good okay now we are gonna go with customer name and here with the customer name is also coming as unique Unicode string so it is 255 but we know that in our case it is the worker 50 so we have DT string here that will convert to the watcher and here we know that okay it is length is 50 and the, the page code is the correlation that we have used for this uh, SQL server installation so he, it is 1252 now it, we have converted uh, the customer name to the worker 50 so if we call it der customer name all right 
so let's go to the next one uh, and what we have here we have street address uh, and we know that street address is uh, what's your hundred in our destination so I'm gonna copy this part just paste it here and then change the corrector length here so now it is hundred all good so we can see that next part is city and we know that city is what your 50 in our case so I'm gonna copy the same thing paste it here okay so we are good city is converted and state is a chart to we can use the same watch our watch our conversion and uh, just use two characters and same goes with the let me rename this one real quick so we would know that street address here we call it DER why I'm putting DER because by putting this one I know that these columns are coming from that drive column transformation there could be possibility you will be further doing some action on these columns in some other transformation so you can rename rename them according to the mm, transformation that gives you a good idea okay uh, now in drive column I converted to the customer ID to the DER customer ID and if I need to do some further uh, action on this one I can use this column and uh, now we have here state the last one we have region so I'm gonna bring the region here use the same technique copy paste we are good and we can call this one the ER uh, region now we are all good conversion is done let's hit ok and bring the destination so we are going to load the data into the SQL server table so we'll say OLADB destination here, connect it, go create a new connection. In my case, I already have a connection, so I don't need to create it. But if you want to create a new one, it will ask you the SQL server name. You can provide the SQL server name and database name, and it will create a new connection for you. So don't hit uh, on the drop down, it takes forever sometime, and uh, I will recommend write it. So in our case, test, hit OK. So test is here now select the table so we have customer destination mapping and everything is mapped automatically because on destination and source column names are matching so let's see what happened here so we are bringing a DTWSTR and here we are uh, mapping to the DT good so that's not correct we need to use those columns that we created in the drive column transformation so we will change them so now we have option to change them here we will select the correct input columns that we want to use so now we hit ok and all good no warning nothing so we are great and uh, here let me go back and run the SQL command to see data there is no data in this uh, table now if I run this package what happened It should load the data but it failed on the drive column so let's go back to the error and we, we are going to view and output window and here we want to see the out uh, error information so it is saying an error occurred while attempted to perform a typecast okay and here is in drive column the drive column failed and uh, drive column dot customer ID so we found out it okay the customer ID is creating a problem it's failing so why exactly it is failing we read the data as good sorry we read the data as a unicode here if you want to take a look let's see if that data is read correctly so now we are going to go and see if the data is coming right so we can see that data is coming right from the source so why it is creating problem in the drive column because in the drive column what we have to do if we have good income in so we have to add a curly parenthesis around that values so that's how it is it will be able to convert the value to the good so we will put small uh, curly parenthesis and then we will have a double quotes plus sign here and then again I'm going to add this at the end so I have plus sign double quotes curly parenthesis close and double quotes and parenthesis so I'm putting a 
curly parentheses around customer ID and uh, let's let's see what happened it still so showed the same data type but as uh, we were missing the curly parentheses and that's why it was creating problem I don't know exactly what what to say about that um, if you will go and take a look on the output of this drive column these curly parentheses are not part of the data really but uh, somehow the design is done in a way you have to put the curly parentheses around the data if you wanna use uh, DT good so let's hit okay now let's put uh, a data view right after the drive column and see if those curly parentheses are added to the data or not so they will not be added but I just want to show you like they, there is no f need to have them but uh, somehow in drive column you have to have put them otherwise you will be not able to convert it so this is a, the, the data we are reading from the Excel so let's detach and uh, this is uh, after we are using data conversion so let's go back here and uh, see the values so if you see here it is the same value it didn't change the value at all there is no cur curly parentheses around this uh, value let me show you in, in parallel sorry here okay so I, we don't see that curly parentheses but anyways uh, those has to be done so put the par curly parentheses in the drive column around the value or the column you're using here so once you put the curly parentheses starting and closing you will be all good hit ok close it and now we go and run the SQL statement and we see that the data is loaded from the Excel file to the SQL server table this could be very small I'm going to put the post as well and uh, the but main goal was reading different type of data types and show you from basic uh, how to create SSIS package when you need to read the data from Excel and you have to do conversion such as uh, and war chart to char, war, war, war char or from unique identifier values uh, and uh, finally write to the SSIS um, sorry <laughs> SQL Server table so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video